Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and today we're going to learn how to utilize the template that we made in the previous tutorial. So let's open up Photoshop and see what we made. So here are all of our images that we've been making. They're all the same size if you've been following along. And today we're going to learn how to put those images into our template. It is so easy you won't even believe it. So all you have to do is go to the first image where we have our tigers, click those tigers, drag it to template.psd, go in the middle, and let go. So now you're going to see layer 1 popped up somewhere where it's not supposed to be. Where it's supposed to be is all the way at the bottom. So click and hold layer 1 and drag it to the bottom. So now it's behind everything. Now click that tiger picture and snap it until it's at the top right. Snap it until right, right at the middle. So make sure everything looks good. Everything looks good so it's right in the middle. So now we have our first image. Now how do we change the title and description? Well, all we have to do is click this little text tool right here, but make sure you're on title. Make sure you're on that title layer. I almost forgot to tell you guys that. Make sure you're on that title layer, then click your text tool, and then click the title. So hit Command to Control A, and then just type in Tigers. And now go to your description, and click that text tool, and come down to where that description was, command and control A, and type in, this is a picture of two tigers in Africa playing in a lake. And that's it. So let's hit the check mark. And now we have a title, we have a description, and we have our image. So how do we save this image so that we can utilize it? Well, all you do is go File, Save As, and you will see that it has, as default, it's going to save it as a Photoshop file. We don't want that. We want to save it as a JPEG file. So go to JPEG and click Save. Now it's going to say what kind of quality would you like this to be. You can have it either a large file, a big quality, or you can have it a small file, a really small quality. As you will see, it changes here. So I'm going to make it you can see that it, it gives you a little preview of what it's around. So right around 6 doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to make it 6 because we want these to load pretty quickly. So click OK. And that's it. So now you have tigers.jpg saved. So all you will do is in the next one that you're going to make, I'm not going to make all of these for you guys and make you sit through all of that. So the next, I'm just going to do the very basics of the next one. So if you wanted to do um, the lion, all you do is you come down to layer one in your template, drag this to the trash can, then come to your lion, click your marquee tool, drag your lion into the template just like you did the other one. Then make sure that layer one is at the bottom, and then make sure you snap that lion in there, and then you change this to lion, and then you just change the description, go to description, go to lion, description, and say, this is a picture of a lion. And you just add whatever description you want. So I'm going to do this for all the videos. And in the next video, we are going to start making our fading images slideshow. So make all of your images in your template. Put a nice description and a title like cheetah, leopard, all that stuff. And then catch up with me in the next tutorial. And what we are going to do is start making that fading images slideshow. Getting kind of exciting. So uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. This has been Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com. And stay tuned for more.